Hello guys, welcome to Zig Wheels and today we are here at uh, the Bajaj event to ride the new Pulsar N160 that's the new updated F250 in the background, the dual channel ABS version the walk around video should be live on the channel very soon about that bike but before we actually ride this bike let me give you a quick rundown of what this bike actually packs now this is uh, this had been launched uh, quite a while back. Uh, this is the dual channel ABS version of the N160, the only 160cc bike in the country to offer this extra safety aid. And like it says on this sticker here, yep, it gets dual channel ABS. Now, prices for this bike, uh, this version uh, are 1.28 lakh, and uh, the single channel variant cost 5000 rupees less than this. So it seems worth it to pay extra for the safety aid. Now, uh, in terms of styling, this looks quite a lot like the N250. There is not much to differentiate it from its elder sibling. And this particular Brooklyn black shade looks quite attractive. Uh, like you can see here, you get gloss finish elements as well as matte finish elements now this in this light looks gray but actually it is a little matte black in terms of hardware it uses the same uh, tubular steel uh, frame internally the engine is all new now this isn't shared with the or it's not a downsized version of the f250 n250 250cc mill it's a brand new engine that's what bajaj is saying it's not uh, shared with any other motorcycles yet and that's a key thing to note it makes uh, 16 ps and 14.7 nm uh, and that is not the highest in the segment but amongst the top uh, parts the rtr makes a smidge more power than this but the key takeaway here is that bajaj has tuned it for a talky riding experience so when you see the gearbox here, the five-speed gearbox. Bajaj claims that in terms of third, fourth and fifth gear in gear roll-ons, it will be the quickest. Now that is something that we'll put to the test once we get the bike for a road test. This is just at the, during the time of the first ride event. So we won't be able to test that out. Uh, sorry for somebody revving that bike, but yeah, we won't be able to test that out right now. But when we get it for a road test, we should be able to verify that claim and hopefully uh, get the Apache along also for a test. So hit the bell notification icon if, for when that video drops. Now, in terms of uh, styling, like I told you, it shares the same uh, same design language as the N250. So it means it also gets the same console as well. This lovely infinity display, almost bezel-less console, semi-digital and uh, you can toggle through the menu same set of features over here as well yeah switch it on gear position indicator speedo taco few telltale lights uh, fuel gauge time trip meters and stuff also you get the usb charger over here yeah the one improvement that they have done from the n250 onto this n160 and which they've also transferred it onto the 250s is this switch right here now this switch is to change the light scheme from the position lamps as well as the drl so when you start the bike right now these used to only act as position lamps earlier but now they are drl so the intensity is high let me get you a more frontal shot and when you switch the, this thing it gets dimmer and the projector led lights up so yeah Position lamp, DRL. And since I've already started this engine, let me give you a quick exhaust mode. Sounds quite bassy, right? And that is something which Paraj has worked on to create that characteristic note because people apparently who bought the NS160 did love it and they also did like the underbelly treatment. Also, it saves weight, so that's why they've gone for it. In terms of hardware, it comes with the same 
37 uh, mm telescopic fork at the front, 300 mm disc, uh, twin piston caliper, uh, gas charge, monoshock with preload adjustment, uh, the same box section swing arm, the same 230 mm disc, the same single piston caliper, as well as the same MRF nylon grip zapper tires. So all of the hardware remains the same. And as a result, the curb weight of this bike is 154 kilos. That is for the dual channel ABS version. Single channel gets a slimmer front fork and a smaller front disc. So the curb weight of that bike is 152 kilos. And having said that, these, these weights are still a little on the higher side compared to the likes of the NS160 or even the RTR164V. Now the reason is, what Bajaj is claiming, is that it's packing a larger fuel tank. Now that is definitely one contributing factor because this is a 14 litre fuel tank and not a 12 litre one that you find on the NS or the RTR160. So that should add a couple of kilos to the overall bike. Now we will be riding this bike, let me just go out and gear up. Review video for the N160 drops on our channel on 17th July at 6 p.m. Hit the bell notification icon to get the update right on your screens for when that video drops. Next, uh, until next time, like, share and thank you for watching.